Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For this week's projects, I'll be making Valentine's Day DIYs, starting off with these three items. Of course, this first one is a picture frame and I'm just gonna remove the backing and I'm also remove the string off the X and O sign. And this last one is a heart wreath form. I'm creating a mixture and I'm using this pink premium acrylic paint, this silver glitter that I purchased from Dollar General and also some Mod Podge to lock the glitter in. I'm mainly focusing on painting the front side since I still wanted the white to be showing on the home sign. I'm going to let this dry and then apply more coats as needed and I'll do the same for my other items as well. I decided to use these cardboard backings from some picture frames that I used in a previous project and of course I'm going to paint them all pink as well. I decided to switch it up a little bit and use the red paint from my X and O sign and I'll be creating that same exact mixture for this item as well. Once I'm all done, I'm going to take all my items outside to spray paint them with my Mod Podge sealer to seal everything. Now that everything is dry, I'm going to remove the backing so I can add in my glitter paper. These hearts were already cut from a project that I did a while ago, and this is the Recollections glitter paper that I purchased from Michaels. I'm gluing these beaded necklaces around the entire perimeter of my frame. I'm using these one inch round glass circle mirrors to finish decorating my frame. I'm putting all my mirrors into place before gluing them down. To finish off the project, I'm using these three crystal clear drawer knobs that I purchased from Amazon a while ago. This can be used as a key holder, jacket holder, or jewelry holder. Comment down below and let me know what you would use this for. On to the next project. I'm really loving this X and O sign as is, but I'm going to glam it up a little bit and complete the same exact steps as I did for my other key holder. Since it'll be a little hard for me to get in those tight spaces, I'm just going to glue the necklace along the bottom.
of course this can be used as a key holder as well but i placed some jewelry up here just to show y'all a different option and i'm loving how it turned out let me know what y'all think down in the comments For this third project, I'm covering this entire wreath form with these beaded necklaces. As I always say, if you are going to recreate any of my projects, I suggest you use a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time. I'm only gluing my mirrors to the middle part of my wreath. I'm spacing my mirror tiles out as evenly as possible by leaving one bead in the middle. I'm gluing these acrylic gems to the smaller heart on my wreath. And all I did for the bigger heart was added a extra beaded necklace. I'm using some of this sheer ribbon to create a bow around my wreath. At first, I was thinking to put the bow straight across and then later change my mind to slanting it. Now I'm making my bow. I'm adding a gem to my bow to finish off my project. This wreath is super cute and as y'all just seen, it was super easy to make. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Last and final project, I'm just going to take all of these cardboards and I'm going to put them into a box and I'm going to use my wood blocks to help me glue them together. I'm covering the entire perimeter with more beaded necklaces. I'm using my mirror tiles to make the letters L O V E. I decided to go for a different look and mix the pink with the red. I'm using these assorted gems and also these wooden lips and these wooden heart ornaments that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I had no particular pattern in mind. I just placed the items anywhere. So now that the L is done, the O, the V, and the E is done, I'm gluing another cardboard to the bottom to keep my flowers inside my box. 
I'm using a piece of this floral foam to keep my flowers in place. I don't plan on cutting these, so I'm just going to bend them and put them into place. I love how my Valentine's Day box turned out as well. These projects were quick and easy to make. They were also budget friendly. Comment down below which project you like best. Like and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.